uh, bartender, can I pay in crypto? Like Bitcoin, Bitcoin Cash, Dash? No. Uh, you don't accept it. Need to know more about this subject? Come here. I'm gonna tell you. Ten years ago, there was this uh, desire to have a money, especially for the internet, and an anonymous programmer invented it, and the very first one is Bitcoin. Some people call it magic internet money, but I kind of understand why. <laughs> but it is wonderful. I, I, I think it's better, really, than any kind of government money, because it doesn't require a bank, and anybody can, can own it, anybody can get involved, and it works so much better than regular money. And it's, it's easy to accept, really. Um, you just have to, uh, well, you just have to open a wallet, essentially, which is the thing that holds your private keys, keeps it absolutely secure. I can just pick up my cell phone, scan your QR code, click a button, send it to you. You've got your money like that. I don't have to pay anything for the, for the transaction. And we don't have to involve anybody else. And it's glorious. I mean, this is great because it cuts out the banks, cuts out the elites, and allows me to transact with you at very low fees, very quickly, and extremely securely, so that you get your money. It's slightly confusing to people because we've never experienced anything like this. I mean, money has been under control of governments now for 100 years. Some people say 6,000 years. But in the last 10 years, we've seen an extraordinary digital revolution. You know, you can download any app you want on your, your phone, you can get any kind of information. Part of that revolution has been the invention of a new form of money that empowers individuals and not governments and not banks. It's glorious. And when I think about the amount of progress this sector has made over the last five years, do you know that the entire crypto sector is worth about $250 billion and trades every single day all over the world? So you might ask, how does this actually work? I could give you a technical explanation, okay? You have a wallet on your phone. The wallet contains your private key. Uh, then there's a public key that you send out. It uses double key cryptography, and that way uh, your wallet can communicate with my wallet on a secure basis, and all that's really complicated, and you have to study cryptography to, 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 to understand it. But it's not necessary. That's what's great about it. I have to say it's not quite easy yet, but we're getting better. And so in, in time, it'll, using cryptocurrency will be as easy as turning on a, a light switch. You don't have to know how it works, it's just something you do. So right now people think crypto is strange and just for internet geeks or something like this. Maybe bad people. I don't think it's true. It's a great innovation. Give us five years, give us 10 years. I think it's going to be all over the world.